getting into it. The scoring swings in the 123-113 Phoenix victory were wild. LA trailed by as many as 20 after surrendering 45 points in the opening quarter while attempting a season low eight free throws for the game. Here is Duran after the game about what impressed him most in the win. Our leadership. I think our leadership won this game. Uh, struggles was first of the game, but everybody was talking. Our coaches were leading us, players were leading us, and that just helped the ball go into the rim and helped us on defense. A knock on this team has been fourth quarter play. What did you see from your group in that final period? Like I said, just our leadership, man. We came through and everybody was talking on the same page. We made big shot after big shot, and we got stopped. So credit the leadership of the coaches and the players. A lot of coaches, a lot of teams, are like that's all the Lakers do is get to the free throw line. There's like this narrative out there. That that's all we do is get to the free throw line. I mean, we have attackers. That's what we do. I mean, we, we have attackers. Yeah, we shoot the ball from the, from the perimeter, but we're not shooting 40, 50 threes a game. I mean, we're not that team. Um, we don't have the luxury of being that team. So, you know, we're going to the, you know, to the paint. That's what, that's what we're really good at. SA, KD said leadership. I hope he was. Uh, You're being funny. Yeah. I hope he was clowning first take, which is absolutely hilarious. All right, so LeBron and the Lakers find themselves ninth in the Western Conference with the Warriors just a half game behind. Phoenix moves up to sixth and out of the play in tournament for now. The fight for the top of the West very close, and so it's the fight to stay above the seven seed. Hey, Shannon, try to be unbiased here. Tell me this. Do you still please. believe L.A. Yeah, please, Shannon. Do you still believe L.A. can make another Western Conference Finals run? I do, but it'll be a lot more difficult than it was last year because I believe the teams are better than they were last year. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, they're a lot better, and that was one of the teams that the Lakers beat, the OKC Thunder. They're better than they were this year. Uh, last year, and we see the Nuggets getting rounding into shape. Like, and Nikola Jokic, I think he put a doubt. He left no doubt in everybody's mind who the MVP is. If anybody had any questions, go look at the last three games. The first man in NBA history to have a 14-point rebound, 14-point assist in, in try in try area. You heard that perk? But yes, I do believe they can. Now, obviously, they're going to have to shoot more free throws than eight per game. And when you get a guy like LeBron James that attacks the paint, D'Lo attacks the paint, Alter Reeves attacks the paint, for you to only shoot uh, eight free throws, is uh, I, that, I question that. But I think the bigger issue is, is defensively for them. Because there was a situation yesterday. AD thought he should have got a foul. He didn't get back. And uh, uh, O'Neal hits a three. LeBron thought he, thought he got a foul. He didn't get back. Royce O'Neal hit another three. Now, you can live with those guys because Royce O'Neal really, he hasn't shot the ball particularly well. He shot it well yesterday, and that's all that matters. Grayson Allen, every time they get within two, every time they get within three points, Grayson Allen would hit a big three. So they're going to have to tighten up the defense, especially in the three-point shot. But I do believe because they have Anthony Davis and because they have LeBron, they can make another run. But it will not be as easy as it was last year because I believe the teams are much better. The uh, uh, Phoenix is better because they have Book, and now when they, once they get Bradley Beal back, that's going to be a, another another problem they're going to have to deal with. But I still have faith in Anthony Davis and LeBron James. I believe they can make a run, but it's going to be a lot more difficult road to hope. <clears throat> I'm losing faith. <laughs> I'm losing faith. I, I, I'm just going to be honest with you about it. I mean, you know, l listen, the point that you bring up, and, and, and Big Perk, even though I'm sure that he still has some belief in the Lakers, have brought this up on numerous occasions, um, the, the point that you made about there being numerous teams in the Western Conference that are better this year, I think that's something that we have to start paying attention to mm -hmm. as we watch this season continue to unfold with the Los Angeles Lakers. D'Angelo Russell had 20 points yesterday. He didn't play awful. No. Anthony Davis showed up. LeBron James showed up. Up. They still, and by the way, they shot 43% from three point range, 42.9 to be exact, and they still lost this game. Mm -hmm. And so I look at it from that perspective against a Phoenix Suns team that, by the way, has been awful in fourth quarters. They've been the worst team in the fourth quarter. They've lost about 10 double digit leads, only tying the Golden State Warriors this year. And I'm looking at them and I'm saying, wait a minute here. Um, I, 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 we haven't been talking about them enough. So we've been talking about Minnesota. We've been talking about uh, uh, Oklahoma City. Of course, we can't ignore Denver. Dallas, Tim Legler, and everybody else has us paying met rapt attention to Kyrie and Luke and how they've gotten some size before the trading deadline, so that should be helpful. And now we look at Phoenix yesterday. By the way, when I bring up Phoenix, Kendrick Perkins, another name I'm going to bring up, this dude, Grayson Allen. Yeah. Lead, 
a three-point shooter in the game. Mm -hmm. This brother hit six threes mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Six threes. Grayson Allen, the, uh, obviously, when you got KD and Booker Book. on the court with you, you're going to get open shots. Right. But credit where credit is due. He He's burying them, them. He's been knocking them down all season long. And so I'm looking at it from that perspective. I'm looking at the Clippers in Sacramento play last night. I'm looking at Denver. I'm looking at Oklahoma City and Minnesota and Dallas. I just gave you six teams, okay? I'm, say, I'm just saying to myself right now, I even mentioned Golden State. I'm just saying to myself right now, I'm not giving up on the Lakers. I I'm giving them a slight chance to be right. able to make a run. But it's looking more and more daunting with each passing week just because of what I'm seeing from the other teams in the Western Conference. Molly. Yeah. Molly, do you realize, do you realize I just got off a plane at 6.15 this morning and I came on here for first take because I thought I was going to actually get some takes, some bold takes. And these two old heads are tap dancing around the question. Shannon, are yes. the Lakers going to make a run to the Western Conference Finals? The answer is simple yes or no. Hold on. I could have sworn I said yes, but no, it's going to uh, be a lot uh, more. Uh, no, no. Nerd, tell uh, them the rules okay, of okay, first aid. Okay, Remind them how okay, the what, what about What about you, S.A.? Because you're losing faith now. What, what is it? Yes or no? Are they going to make a run to the Western Conference I, Finals? I, I, would have, I would have to say no. Okay, cool. I'm saying hell no, they're not. Okay, for the simple <laughs> fact, look, the only thing that the Lakers need to be making a run at is this offseason and free agency and trying to go get Donovan Mitchell or make a trade for Trey Young. For us this season alone, the Lakers better be worried about making the playoffs, let alone making a run in the playoffs. Matter of fact, the playoffs have started. If you're watching the teams, if you watched that game last night with, the, with Golden State and the Denver Nuggets, that was a playoff-type game. You know why? Because the Golden State Warriors are trying to get out of the play-in tournament. To be honest with you, I don't even believe that they'll beat the Sacramento Kings in a seven-game series. Just being real. And if you look at the Lakers' schedule in the next ten games, they play the Clippers, they play the Kings twice, they play the Nuggets. I mean, it's loaded. They play the Oklahoma City Thunder. It is loaded. And it's a reason why LeBron James at the trade deadline was pouting and he wanted Rob Palenka to make a move because he knew that they didn't have enough. Do I think Spencer Dinwiddie is going to get them over the top? Hell no. At the end of the day, what I'm watching right now is that they lack depth at the big position. If Anthony Davis is out, Jackson Hayes has been a no-show this entire season. Christian Wood has been on and off. You need depth at the big position to win any series in the Western Conference when you're going against the when you're going against a, the likes of a Jokic, a Sabonis, a Rudy Gobert, and Carl Anthony Towns. So no, the answer is hell no, they're not making another run. A couple of points before I give it to you, Shay Shea. Uh, number one, of of the ten teams with winning records in the Western Conference, the Lakers are the only team with a losing record on the road. Only team with a losing record on the road. They're 11 and 19 on the season in terms of their road wins. This is the other thing that I wanted to point out. And I got to call out Darvin Ham, who I like a lot and obviously I think did a great job last year. What's up with all of these double-digit deficits in the first quarter? This is the 13th time this year the Lakers have come out and were trailing by double digits yeah. at the end of the first quarter. Only the Portland Trailblazers have been worse this year in that regard. I don't understand that. I really don't. That needs to change. Go if ahead. you look at these teams, their highest scoring quarter, the majority of them have come against the Lakers. You look at any team, if you, whatever they've scored, be it 45, be it 50, be it 39, whatever the case may be, it's against the Lakers. Now, yesterday, they were absolutely demolished on the glass. That was really surprising to me, Big Perk, is that we look at the Phoenix Suns and we understand they got Nurkic. But you get out-rebounded by 13, 14 rebounds, and you got an answer today? No, no, no. 51-34. Oh, so they got 17. 17. 17. You can't, 17. <laughs> you can't ha because at the half, Phoenix had nine offensive rebounds. The Lakers have none. And I was like, I told the Lakers, can you get an offense, a, a defensive As a matter of fact, get anything. Can you get a steal? Can you get a rebound on the offensive end, the defensive end? Do something. And it was just like they were going through the motion. All of a sudden, a few shots going in. They seemed like they got excited. And they found, them, they found themselves getting themselves back into the ball game. But late in the ball game, Give Grayson Allen credit. Give Royce O'Neal credit. I don't want Book, and I don't want KD to beat me. Now, I'm going to make you swing the ball, and I'm going to force those guys to hit shots. 
They hit them yesterday. There's nothing else you can do about that. It's just like any team. If you take away their two best players and their role players step up, Perk, but you, I, I can't, I can't guard, I can't double everybody now. And, and, and that's and that's another thing. Role players play better at home, especially in the postseason. And the Lakers are not going to have home court advantage. So guess what? Role players are going to be making shots because the Lakers are going to be the visiting team. Did they have a road? Did they have home field at uh, home court last year? Did it? Did it matter? No, but this is not They went to Memphis. Remember they went to Memphis. Wait, 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 Hold on, hold on. Don't get bold. Don't get bold. Don't get bold now because you just finished pointing out what your what your trepidation is about the Los Angeles Lakers. Don't get don't get bold now. You're a little bit worried now. Hold on, hold on. What's the team? Hold on, Perk. What's the team you said? You said like OKC. You said Minnesota. The Nuggets, Dallas, 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 Denver, yeah. Sacramento. I, I didn't hear you here. One day, one team. What team got LeBron James? Got the gold on it. Go, 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 really, really? That's where you're going? Which team where, got the that, gold? That's where you're going. Which team that, got the guy that scored more playoff so points words, than so NBA another, history? So in other words, you are saying nah, that you think uh, the Lakers uh, can make a run. You are saying that you think they're going to do it. I said, hold on. I, I started. I said, I believe they can make a run to the Western Conference Finals. Can they do something? Although I believe Can they grab be... anything? Did you say, can they grab anything? Did, was... did you say, can they grab some groceries? Did you say that? Did you say that? So in other words, go to your home. Hold on. Talk about, talk about, talk about. Steve, Steve, I want you to read that caption that's up under me. You can make a run to Conference Finals. I just said yes, they could. I, now you okay. want me to grab something. Okay. Hey, you, just, you, you, know, you know what's wrong? You know what's wrong? You know what's wrong with Shannon right now, ESA? What? It's just what? like just like if you're placing a bet, right, with ESPN bet. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? You're supposed to bet with your mind. He's he betting with his heart. No, you know what I'm saying? Because his feelings would go, James. That's yeah, all it is, is right now. It's a lot harder than that. It's a lot harder than that. No, it's not no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, yo, Perk, Perk, I got, I got Shannon right now. You ready for this one, Perk? You know, you, you do live in L.A., don't you? Yes. When last time you've been in Lake again? <laughs> open, open at night. Open at night. <laughs> you have been busy. Yeah, it, it, ain't, been, it ain't just been the club shade shade, the nightcap, you know. Yeah, it, oh, no, 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 no. I'm traveling. I, you, you ain't had a chance. You ain't had a chance to get to the lake again. Not one. Really, you ain't not had one. a chance. Not one. Not one. I'm supposed to be a guy. Not one. I'm supposed to be a guy. You can't even stop you all the other stuff. Excuse me. You, the, hey, all Shannon. these games the Lakers had on, yes. at home, you ain't had one opportunity to get to the lake again. I ain't want to go to Toronto. <laughs> he don't want to go, Molly. He don't want to go. He Molly. see what he don't like. He go, Shannon going to lose it. Can, can you grab something? That's Hold what he's going to say to them. Can you grab something? Shannon, you, guys, you want to come to the Big East tournament? I'm going in March. You want to come watch oh, no, UConn no. win it? You want to come see that You guys, hold on. Molly. You want to come sit court and see that happen? <laughs> My, just a second, Molly. You asked me, can the make, Lakers make another run to the conference right, finals? Right. Yeah. I answered, yes, it'll be more difficult. Stephen A. and Perk sent me to the store. Perk wanted a pack of cigarettes. Stephen A. wanted some cereal. <laughs> I bring them what they wanted back. That's all you brought? But damn, I brought you what you asked for. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Because